Hey guys, what's up? It's both here with No Land. Today we're going to be playing some more Dragon Blaze. Uh, first things first, we do have new patch notes for the 23rd, which is pretty much tomorrow. Uh, let's see. Alright, Challenger Dungeon is getting expanded, which I... <laughs> I'm still getting destroyed in Challenger Dungeon right now, above like... 54. So yeah, that's kind of my stopping area right now. Gotta get into some more rooms sooner or later, but my gold is pretty much non-existent thanks to me ultiming some of my um, overlords, which are the ones I'm gonna stick with into the next batch of overlords. So I have plenty of time to start getting my um, essence back in place somewhat. Uh, new app, well, new app icon. They're probably gonna change it to some Halloween thing. Uh, we got event one. So I'm guessing they're going to be in multiple events every week for Halloween. Nah, probably just two weeks. So yeah, event one is going to be celebration. They're going to put my little pumpkins in everywhere to make it more Halloween theme. Event two, Halloween gift boxes. Okay, so basically it's our little griffin friend that gives us rewards every single day for 14 days. They always use this griffin. They either use them for any like, God, why is it not in my head? Holidays. That's that's what it is. <laughs> uh, the Halloween costumes are coming back. I mean, they're nothing really all that special. I'm hoping they make one for Encanter. There better be one for Encanter. You guys, you guys have been starting to make a little bit of costumes for, especially the ones we have from um, Midas. That's going on. Oh, Lucky Roulette is coming back too. If you don't know what Lucky Roulette is, it's basically where you do dailies, and each time you do dailies, you get stars, and you use those stars on this wheel, and you get any of these rewards wherever it stops on. Oh, there's an arch transcendent character that you can get for. Jeez, nah, I'm good, fam. I'm good. I mean, that's that's good for those who have been saving up so many rubies that they don't know what to do with them. But for me, considering I'm I've been using my rubies to expand a little bit, and buy some shoes and other stuff. Yeah. I haven't been buying like any allies or anything like that. I've just been using them basically to buy into daily dungeon. Yeah, most of them have gone into daily dungeon. As you can see, I almost got the full set. All I need is the cape now. Then I'm done with that. So I'm gonna make sure if <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I get like all of them as much as I can. I'm not sure if this is like a permanent event or if it's just visiting. I mean, it just says event next to it, so I'm guessing this is going to last for a while, so you got to get everything you can out of it. So, yeah. I'm nearing the cape somewhat. I think I'll just get the ones that I actually want so far. And rogues are have been really destroying inside of this. So, like I said last time, rogues will probably be the best thing to bring into here. But, you have to have them build correctly. Which I can show you guys my, well, pretty much the standard rogue build that everybody goes for, especially when fighting in raids. I've been really using mine, just because I don't have him, I don't have him to 15 yet. And plus, he's not fully leveled. Not yet, at least. So normally rogues go with the second skill fully transcended and ultimate skill for three and just stay normal for this. I mean you can go with the extra boss damage, well the extra damage if you want to, but this is the standard build where everybody goes for when it comes to like dealing with raids. But you can choose to build whichever way you want. 
Mostly the reason why is just because you get for each attack you get a, a attack boost. And plus you get this evasion and plus you get attack speed increase. And this is for the immunity and to conceal yourself and you get extra crit, extra penetration, extra crit damage. So basically these two are just making you into like a fast killing machine. Instead of this one that has like a pretty decent cooldown that you can only use like every now and then. Pretty much off this you're just doing way more damage than you could with this. As for passive we maxed out perfect attack and the ultimate bloodthirsty just for the HP regain. And we just kept this as normal since we're not even like really rolling with the whole the rogue things and eh. If you have a full party of rogues, I guess that would be alright. But other than that, you probably would want to go with these more. Especially if you're dedicating your rogue to raids. This would probably be the standard build you want to go with. As for this, this is just their Vogar skill. I'm not sure if the Vogar skill works for raids that I know of. I haven't really... Well, you can't really see their stats, so I'm not really sure. But yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's my rogue build, at least. I would take you in, but I'm pretty sure my character is going to die. And plus, I don't think I have any revive scrolls on him. Make sure to bring in revive scrolls. Okay, yeah, I don't have any revive scrolls on me right now. So yeah. What we're going to do now is get back into story and progress a little bit more and so we can get ready for um, farming gears because I oh, whoops I went into the wrong place apparently I want to go back to Midas right now <laughs> but yeah let's get into it oh god we gotta fire away there so yeah I'll see you guys at the piece of story Alright, so we're done with the quest, finally. And let me go ahead and grab that. Okay, apparently I did all the tasks. I don't remember doing all of them, but alright. <laughs> alright, so here we go. Let's go ahead and see what's new. What story we got? We've been fighting like these little turret things, too. Those enemies are new. Now, I like this background right here. I have no idea what you just said at the start. And that one of them just dodged my whole attack. Okay. So yeah, you guys might have noticed that my Arc Buster is a little bit different. Now that he hit level 20. Oh, oh geez. Oh, geez. I was to say, they're about to push me on the other side of the world in a few seconds. But yeah, we we finally got him to level 20 and Jesus Christ, that turn looks sick as hell. Ah, no, maybe because it's red. Oh, it's this bitch. Traitor. Yeah, sure. I'm not going to destroy me. Yeah, she betrayed us. <laughs> Considering my art buster is busted as hell with all these ultimate characters, then uh, <laughs> I don't expect he beating me this afternoon. 
Wait, why is it showing my weapon now? When I have weapons hidden. I mean, considering that we shot her full of hoes, I, I wouldn't... I wouldn't doubt it. I made no shit. We were friends, let me guess. I don't feel bad for traitors. Nah, I'm good. Ain't no feels over here this time. I mean, what do you expect? She she tried to fucking kill me. <laughs> I will not fall for the anime cliches. Never. Never. Oh, anywho. Oh, yeah, we gotta go fight Odin, which I'm guessing that guy is Odin. The dude that's sitting in a chair. Nah, you'll try to befriend more enemies. I mean, technically, she didn't say you guys were friends. She said thanks for... Thinking of her as a friend didn't mean the feeling was neutral. I'm just saying We're just gonna put that out there right now Oh wait Is this the okay, this is the new boss So I have a new place. I got a farm. Okay, cool finally I'll see how difficult it is after this All right, let's go see what's over here. Yeah, there go Odin. God damn right I'm a hero, don't you forget it. I mean, if you can't tell it's Odin from Odin's chamber...
Show Odin to catch these hands. I mean, Odin's chamber. You guys can't be that stupid. Come on. Excuse me? Christopher already dropping in like, I'm ready, bro. <laughs> And Rin doesn't want to die, apparently. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Once we come back leveled up, we can finally kill you. Yeah, I saw that one coming, to be honest. I was like, one of these guys are going to come in and save. God, my ears. Why? How is the frog still alive? Damn, a man finally stood up. I cannot see that. Bonnie's chest is still sitting there too, I just noticed. <laughs> ah, so that's what that thing's for. Uh, Bonnie left for a uh, case though. Can we go ahead and get that? No? Alright, it's just gonna stay there. Okay then. Do you know who I am? I've survived countless adventures. I'm not gonna die that easy. I'm gonna ignore the fact that we got one shot. We always get one shot by something. Then we come back and kill it later. <laughs> Typical game plots, you know. Not too strong. Go back and grind. Come back. <laughs>
So yay, another raid is opened. Is that it? I think that's it. Yep, that was the last stage. Alright, guys. We finally caught up with the story. Now let's try this out and see how fast we get murdered. Well, actually, I want to auto. If you guys are wondering how to get the auto dungeon, it's the um, raid pet. The auto raid pet is the um, Dark Drake or whatever it was. Ah, I don't even bother trying to remember their names. I was about to say, mostly everybody's in their suits right now. I wonder if we'll be able to kill this thing because... Midas right now is just smacking everybody up. Okay, we will be able to kill it, but I did die, so yeah. Feels bad, man. So yeah, the raid's pretty standard. Nothing like extremely out there. Everybody's farming it right now, so you guys better get into it before all the high level players get their gears and stuff done. Then they won't be able to then they won't be touching this anymore. Then you're gonna be doing it with like auto with like rookie bots and it's gonna be really annoying for you to complete. Unless you have like a really strong rogue or something. So yeah, I recommend doing that now, but everybody else is doing Midas right now, so you might have a, f you might have time. And I'm definitely loving the Midas events, even though even if you die and even if you are defeated, you still get a coin. By the way, you don't have to actually complete Midas, but you do get like little rewards from it, like jewels, and you have a chance of getting like this chest that has. Let's see, it has sh shoes, it has transited essence. You don't really get a whole bunch of transited essence, by the way. And it has a chance of dropping allies, chance of dropping, um, what else, what else? Goad as well. And that's pretty much it. Nothing like extremely unique drops from those chests. So I recommend just going in, just farming it. Eh, not the worst thing that can happen. It's actually faster just to die and get your coins like really fast like completing it is cool and all but it's probably faster just to let your team die if you're just after the costumes I'm just gonna be honest with you since you don't have to win it you still get the essence hopefully they'll bring in like a times two essence drop well coin drop because originally they used to bring back the whole little um, double raid essence where is it did they not do that anymore I don't know I haven't been really paying attention to buffs anymore to be honest <laughs> since we have the whole burning point thing but yeah hopefully they'll bring in something like that Uh, what else can I talk about? What else can I show? Oh, here's my gold, by the way. You guys remember when I had a lot? Yeah. I did too. And now I'm constantly in a bad spot right now. And I need to go back to Challenger Dungeon. Oh yeah, crucial thing. Uh, some of the new players have been asking me, where is the best place to farm? It would be Challenger Dungeon. Challenger Dungeon is the best place to farm for Essence and allies do not i repeat do not spend your rubies on this because you're creating your stronger characters this is only giving you weaker characters and you can easily get these from just farming challenger dungeon not buy this because you could farm way more of these in challenger dungeon through the night so i just re recommend auto farming at night if you feel like you want it, I guess you could go for these, but that's like a, that's a lot, to be honest. And there, if we had the whole um, secret shop thing going on, I would, I would rather you guys save it up for secret shop things if they, 
if they're needed, that is. Uh, mostly you want to spend it on shoes or tickets, whichever one. Yeah, mostly you want to spend your rubies on this because everything else you can just farm for. As for these, yeah, you can spend it on gold if you're in desperate need of it or you're impatient. <laughs> Excuse me, hiccup. You can go for it. Uh, that That's a little bit of a gray area. Considering that you could probably make this much just from farming Challenger Dirt. Challenger Dungeon. But I also want you guys to remember <laughs> with farming Challenger Dungeon, uh, you do start to lose a little bit of gold too. Considering that if you're going to go down the ground, the farming part, especially since you're going to be like every other high end player, buy, buy all these pets. Well, except for the Dark Fury, unless you're doing raids. Uh, if you want to auto, if you want to auto repeat raid, this is the only pet that can do that. You can't do it without this pet. The reason it costs less for me is just because I already own it. If you own it, then you can just extend it. So, yeah. These three pets are things you want to farm before going into Challenge and Dungeon. Just get one of them. They last a whole month. So, it's not like buying it like every week, every day. These last for a whole month once you buy them. And once you buy them... Well, first things first. Expand your inventory. Expand your inventory max. Just max it out. That is like the most important part I should be talking about. Because you need all the room you can get. Especially since... If your inventory gets full, it's going to cancel your auto runs. So you can wake up in the middle of the night and you just be like... Wait, why did it stop farming? It's mostly just because you didn't clean out your inventory. So yeah, those are things to keep in mind. If you're wondering where Challenger Dungeon is, it is right here. I think the only way you can get into it is like having a level 120 character or something like that. Oh, or was it like completing into, into the story? Let's just say get further into the story and then it'll eventually unlock for you if it's not. Um, it really doesn't matter what floor you farm. If anything, farm the easiest floor that you can win. If anything, farm the easiest floor you can win. So if you're new and you finally get Challenger Dungeon, you can farm 1, 10, whichever one. And as long as you're getting the essence and drops, you're good. So yeah, here they all are. You can get a whole bunch of skill cards too. Um, allies aren't going to show up because allies are just random drops. So yeah. And you can get jewels out of here too. But yeah, you get a B ally for being in here. You have a really good chance of getting a B ally because as soon as you're using your burning points in here, you're getting like really, really good chance of B or A units. I think the highest I got in here are Bs. Sometimes the S's, I believe. But if you're farming an adventure, you're probably going to get like way, way less than Challenger. And if you're in Challenger, it increases your challenger level. This is why I'm a level 1000 down here. This is my challenger level. Your challenger level increases like all your XP and stuff and pretty much gives you this little skill book that you can put stats into. I put all my stuff into decks because that's what my party is mostly made out of. You can do this for free anytime. It doesn't cost anything. You could just throw it into something, whichever thing you actually need. So, yeah. With that said, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out.
what you got to lose.